All right. In this video, we are going to discuss about further trigonometry and how we are going to find out the area of a triangle in trigonometry. Now, the first thing we need to identify that what is the difference between trigonometry and further trigonometry. In further trigonometry, we are going to deal with the angles that are not equals to 90 degree. All right. Because if angles are equal to 90 degree, then it is trigonometry, not further. So in further, all the angles should not be equals to 90. They must be lesser than 90 or they might be greater than. Now the first thing that how you are going to find out the area of a triangle. Now the working formula to find out the area of a triangle in further trigonometry is 1 over 2 A B sine C. Now what is A and B? Let's suppose that you have a triangle A, B and C. All right. This capital A represents the angle. The side opposite to that angle A, it will be small a. Similarly, the side opposite to B is small b. And side opposite to C, that will be small c. Now, there is a condition to find out the area of a triangle. The condition is, says that whatever two sides you are going to pick, the angle, it must be lie between these two sides in order to find out the area of a triangle. Like, you can observe these two examples. The dimensions are same, 6, 7 and the angle is 40. 6, 7 and the angle is 40. But keep in mind that if you consider this triangle x, y, z, then the missing angle between these two sides is not here, right? The angle is missing. So you cannot apply this working formula on that triangle. But if you observe in that triangle, two sides are known and the angle between these two sides is also known. That means now we can apply the working formula here and that will be equals to A equals to 1 upon 2, one side, second side and the angle between these two sides. So the first side is 6, the second side is 7 and the angle is 40 and you can calculate to find out the area. Make sure that your calculators are in degree mode, not in radian mode. 